everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a pop-up card. I've got two versions here. So this is the first one, this is the original one that I've done. So it's very plain on the front, I'm not going to decorate the front because when you open it up, you reveal this little pop-up book. So it's kind of like a book or a card within a card. I really love how this has come together, I think it looks really sweet. This is using, again, those lovely, this is the Dress My Draft, Dress My Draft? Dress My Craft, it's Hydrangea Lawn, and it was, again, the ones that were sent by Kimmy. And that was the stamp set that matched really well as well, which I coloured, and then I've got that lovely Christina Griffiths sentiment, and then I've used the Bright Rosa Happy Birthday there, which I just thought, it just all worked really nicely together. And then on the back here, you can write your message, or you can write them here. You can also add vellum pages or thin you know a lightweight paper like a copy paper weight and you could add pages and hole punch and put some ribbon through there and have a little book so it could work really nicely for maybe a Christmas card like the night before Christmas or just something with some photos in you don't want it too bulky because it does need to all fall flat okay so that's one option and this is the I'm going to be showing you both and then this is the one where it's a pop-up birthday present and I think it looks brilliant. So it's the same card but reversed. So this is the same one but just that way around and with the top on it, which I'm going to show you. But then if you turn it that way, you can see where you've got that section. Okay, it's very straightforward to make. So let's get straight into it. So for this one, I'm using the Paper Boutique. This is the Moonlight Song. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a really different kind of palette of colours, something I've said before that I don't really have. So I thought I'd use that for today's card. Now also, the toppers that you get, if you buy the kit version, these squares will fit perfectly in the pop-up section. So here, there's one here, you can see how they fit nicely in there. So I know a lot of you do have some of the Paper Boutique papers. So yeah, it would be a nice one for that. Okay, so I'm working on a 6x6 six six card base, so I've got a piece of 6x12 because I want to make my card base because I wanted this blue colour. So along the 12 inch side you just want to score at 6, okay, and then just fold and burnish. Okay, then I've got two pieces of decorative paper. You'll want some for the front as well, so you may want three pieces. It's five and three quarters squared. If you want to then drop down again, then go down by quarter of an inch increment, so five and a half squared. But these two are going to go inside here. Okay, like so. Then for your pop up piece, you want a piece of four and a half by seven. Along the four and a half inch side, you want to score at four. And along the seven inch side, you want to score it three and a half. Okay. Then if you're doing the lid, so if you want to do the birthday present style, you'll need a piece of four and a half squared. And along just two sides, you want to score it half an inch. So half an inch that way. And then if you just rotate and do half an inch that way. Okay, that's all we need to do. So get rid of the scoreboard. That's everything done there. And then if you just fold and burnish these pieces, Okay, so first of all with the pop-up piece, you'll have your centre score line and then your bottom ones here. Just cut up that centre score line to the first score lines, so just there. And then just take a wedge off of both sides so you've formed a triangle, okay? And then if you just fold them out like that, when the card folds flat, it's going to go down like so, okay? Then if you're doing the top piece, okay, you want to cut right across, so there, hang on, if we do this bit first, so just remove that bottom square, okay, and just take, again, a wedge off of all of the sides of the tabs, just to keep everything nice and neat, okay. Then you want to cut from this point to this point here, now if you want to draw a pencil line with your ruler, then you can, I was going to eyeball it, but I will do it with a pencil line there we go and then just cut straight across there that wasn't completely straight because I didn't go point to point but these scissors are nice and long so there we go I'll just rub that out in a moment then you need to do another score line which yeah I guess I could have done it before but it doesn't matter but if you just pop it in your scoreboard anywhere it doesn't matter where as long as this tops flush with the top here and then just find a track that meets with the point here and once you've found it just score Okay, so then you'll have that centre bit there. If you flip it over and go over it again, so I'm just going to line it up with the six inches now, I can just go over it 
and then flip it back, you're going to fold it inwards. So that's going to become a valley and these two will become mountains. You've got kind of a bit of an arrow, it's like some wings, okay? Right, let's start assembling it because it's pretty straightforward. So I would suggest you decorate this piece. Well, actually, if you're doing separate pieces, so these were, these mats here, I just dropped down. So what did this measurement come out at? So this is four by three and a half. So I would have done three and three quarters by three and a quarter. Okay, and then you can stamp and do that and then stick them down. So you can do that when it's all put together. If you would rather then do that now before we go to the next step. If you're gonna do the birthday present, we wanna stick this on now. Yeah, for some reason I've given the wrong measurement. I don't know why I've done that. So we need to actually cut that down by a quarter of an inch. So this needed to be, this piece needed to be four by four. <laughs> Not four and a half by four and a half. So if you followed me along, I will put a little thing in at the beginning though, so you shouldn't have. But I'm just gonna, along that score line, I'm just gonna mark it four. Easily corrected and along this one here from the I have no idea what I did there, but it will be, the correct measurement will be at the beginning, but it should be a piece of four by four and on two sides you score at half an inch and just follow exactly the same process I did before because this is three and a half, so I don't know why I came up with that other measurement, but now you'll see that will sit inside. Okay, now we wanna stick this down now so we get our box in that perfect right angle. So you see when it all folds flat, that's gonna fold in on itself. So I'm just gonna bring in my white glue here. And then just very carefully stick those two in. Like I said, don't worry if you're not doing this top one, I'll still show you how to get, I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't have a, a perfect right angle, but as long as you stick it when I stick this piece in, then it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna go in inside there and just make sure that you get that nice and right to the point, like so. And then just practice folding it all nice and flat. Okay, I'm just gonna burnish just so it gets used to being in that shape. Okay, so that will then fold in, will fold flat. Okay, so next we can stick this down. Okay, so, because this is gonna be the box, it's gonna to go towards the back here. Now, already I can see where it needs to open. It just needs to be on a right angle, so you can't pull that out anymore. So what I'll do is I'll give you the measurements in case you don't have this top piece on here. So you wanna stick it three inches, around three inches from here. That's where you wanna kind of, if you put a pencil mark there, so for the sake of the video, let me just do one. Just there. Okay, so I know that that's where I wanna have that positioned. Now, I know where I need to stick mine because it, it, that's, that's all that it's allowing me to pull it out by, I can't go any further. So when I go to fold this all flat, pretending that's stuck, the whole thing disappears, which is what you want. You don't want anything poking out the sides here. So if you don't have this piece on, as I mentioned, then what you want to do is have your pieces, because you'll be able to pull this right out as much as you want, because you won't have this restricting you. You want to have it so it's about got three and a half inches from here and here. Okay, just check that's about right. Yep, three and a half on each side will be perfect. So three and a half on each side and three up there. All right, so now it's up to you whether you, no, I'm gonna do it because I think it'd be better to stick that afterwards. So I'm just gonna grab some of my liquid glue and just pop it on the bottom here. Again, just hovering that in place there. The rest of it will just kind of do its own thing because that's how it's already positioned. Okay, so there's your box. And now when that all folds flat, make sure that goes inwards. Again, just check that it's all hidden. Next, you want to stick your pattern paper down. So has mine got a direction? Kind of, I don't think you'd really notice. So you want to stick this obviously here. Now you can, if you want, because I had done it on some other ones, is I sat this down so I had an equal frame. And then I just kind of folded this piece right up to there because this is a paper it doesn't crack like that okay and then I can just cut but I also didn't cut it right away I kind of cut up to and left you know however much is there so again I could put a pencil mark there 
and just cut all the way out there so the whole thing loops around. So I'll do that on this one to show you one way and then I'll show you what I think might be an easier way. Now when you cut this, you want to actually remove that fold because although this is thin cardstock, it is still a width. There is a, you know, like a, even if it's a sixteenth of an inch, it will still, you know, create the cardstock maybe not lying flat. So I am just going to remove just a little sliver. You can see there just what I've removed and it's mainly that fold line. Okay, so now I've created this which will now slide over and give me a really nice finish. Okay, but for the sake of that tiny little piece here, you can just cut it off completely. So again, kind of directional but not. <laughs> I am going to sit it in here and what you want to do is come down three inches because this was three inches there wasn't it yeah so if you were to come up on whatever side it is there I know so just put a pencil mark there and then measure whatever yours finally finished at coming in here so it's bang on three and a half so I've got that one there and then I'm going to come in so I've come up three on this one. I'm going to come in this way at three and a half. And then if you just connect those two pencil marks with your ruler and cut it and then stick two separate pieces in. But because I've done that one that way, I want to keep mine the same. So again, I'm just going to sit mine in here. And I don't I actually find this to be quite easy. Like I said, as long as you're using the paper and not a thick card, I think this one works fine. And because it's patterned, you don't see that it's... Um, folded right off to the end there. So again I'm just going to mark a pencil mark there and just cut up. Okay so that's the only bit that I guess I can't really give an exact measurement on because if you're doing the book style you may have pulled yours out even if it's just like a quarter of a, a one eighth of an inch more it is going to be different. So I've showed you the ways that it, I think it's easy to cover this. So you can see now inside how that's all going to be nicely concealed. So I'm going to now, I'm probably going to put my Kalau, no I will put it on here. Now this Kalau is great because it will make my card very strong. So I'm just going to carefully go around all of this and get both of these stuck down. Okay, so now you can see we've got that really nice pop-up piece. All right. So what I've done to create the present look is I just cut four, four half inch strips with two of them being half inch by four and then two being half inch by three and a half. Okay, and then the longer ones, so the four inch ones, will go up here and then the three and a half will go that way okay and then I'm gonna have a big bow I need to do some little ones there as well but I'll show you that in a moment okay and then for the top one you just want to cut another half inch piece and then just these are about two and a half and you want to stick them so that it joins with this kind of all the way around. That's just poking over the top a little bit, trim it off. Now, when you stick it, you need to obviously cut it at an angle because it needs to be able to fold. It needs to not obstruct that, that fold there. So if I just hold that in place, you can just carefully just draw with a pencil like so. I'll just show you what I've done and you'll see. You're not going to see this bit because it is going to be covered with your bow, but you do need to just tidy it off. See there? Just so that now that can all fold flat. All right, so I'm just going to stick that down and do the same on that side. Okay, so now you can see we've got that present coming together. It looks really nice. I think once I've got a real nice dark navy bow and a gift tag hanging down, and then I'm going to get my happy birthday done as well. And I'm also going to do the mat and layer for the front and for the back, and then I'll come back and talk you all through that. Okay, so I finished the inside. I, I love it. I think it's come together really nicely. I've done this little tag here. 
and the, it says with love and that's just from the paper pack they have these little sentiments on the side and then I've just added the happy birthday there which is the bright rosa set here it's the birthday words again I'll link that one below I've used it so much it just comes in so handy in fact I've used it on all three of these cards so yeah that's the birthday present and then it all folds flat still need to do the front but I have done the back with again one of the papers because you can just write straight onto that so this was five and three quarters squared so you just need to do that again for the front or however you want you may want to go really grand with it also with the bow you want to stick it just onto one side so I've used my hot glue and I just put a little bead of glue on the right hand side there and just stuck that side because if you stick it across both it won't fold flat okay so just keep your glue to one side but yeah there you have it and then there's that book style if you do want to go down that route and do that way instead I love them both equally I think they both look really really lovely and then there's the other birthday box I think they're so fun so I hope you've enjoyed it I hope I've you know been able to explain it the best I can it's just this bit here cutting around here but I think if you fold it and just cut it I think it's a bit easier so yeah let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye